Hey what's up creators, my name's Luke and welcome back to the first hour of Unreal Engine course. In today's video, we're going to be taking our very first steps into Unreal Engine, and that is navigating the Epic Games launcher and showing you how you can actually install Unreal Engine so that we can lay the foundation for this course. That being said, let's go ahead and move into the first section where we're going to be showing you the Epic Games launcher. You will most likely have the Epic Games Launcher installed for yourself already, but doesn't necessarily mean you've got Unreal Engine installed, and we'll cover that later in this video. But once you're inside of the Epic Games Launcher, the very first thing that I want you to do is make sure that you're going into the Unreal Engine tab on the left hand side, as the library tab is going to be more related to various Epic Games Store games that you've got. Everything we need is in Unreal Engine. Then at the top here, we've got various different tabs. We've got the news tab, which is going to give us access to all the Unreal Engine news that we're going to need. The samples tab, which is going to allow us to download ready-made projects that we can dissect and use for ourselves. The fab tab, which is just going to give us quick access to the fab store. The fab store being Unreal Engine's place to get all the assets that you're going to need for your project. Most importantly though, we have the library tab inside of Unreal Engine. This library tab is going to allow you to do a couple of different things. First and foremost, it's going to allow you to see and manage your engine versions. Next, you've got your projects, which is going to allow you to see all of the projects that you've got on your computer. And then you have got the fab library at the bottom, which is just gonna give you a vault of all of the content that you have on your account. So with that being said, we're going to get exposure to using that fab library and using that my project section as we go throughout this course. What I want to do now though is move on to how you can actually install Unreal Engine, getting yourself ready for the course ahead. In the top left hand corner when you're inside of this library tab you have your engine versions. If you would like to add an engine version, all you've got to do is press plus. Then it's going to add a section here for an engine version and you're going to have a drop down. In here, you can choose the version of Unreal Engine that you want to install. For me, I'm gonna be using 5.6 as that is the latest version. However, if you want to download a legacy version, let's say you're working on a project that is using that, you've got that here. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and choose 5.6. I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions. And then once we're in here, we can choose where this is going to install to. I'm going to leave this at the default location. However, if you go to options, there's a few things inside of here that you might want to look at. First things first, we have things like template and feature packs and starter content. I'd recommend that you turn these on. But then if you're building the experience for Android or iOS or something like that, you want to make sure that these are turned on. They are going to take up additional space on your hard drive though. I'm gonna leave those off, just match what I've got, press apply, press install, and we're gonna come back in just a moment when this is done. Okay, now at this point, my Unreal Engine has finished downloading and installing, and I'm ready to open it for the very first time. To do that, we're gonna go back into our library, and you can see we've got the Unreal Engine installation there, and it says launch. Go ahead and press that launch button. Once you've done that, it's going to open up the Unreal Engine project browser, which we're going to be taking a look at in the next video. That being said, move on to the next video to continue your Unreal Engine learning journey. As always, stay awesome, keep creating.